If you recall, this is the representation of a sampler and data hold. So this is the sampler, which could represent the analog to digital converter in your digital computer. And this is what we call the data hold. Please note that the start function is always occurring after the sampler. Now let me assume I have some sort of a function of t. Then the information after the sampler will be a star of t. If we assume e of t, that looks like this, for example, just any arbitrary function. Then in this case, depending on the sampling period, the e star of t, assuming we are taking it over a period, t to t, 3t, 4t, etc. Then we expect to get some sort of pulses to represent the discrete values. However, there is a possibility if we have e of t that look like this which is completely different than e of t original so let's call e 1 of t so assume the black one is e 1 of t if we sample it at the same period we're gonna get the same result so we conclude that no transfer function exists for the sampler because we could have many different input signals that result with the same output start function E star of S can be found using the residue method and that's the summation of the residues when substituted at the poles of E of lambda. Remember, one way to go from a function in the continuous time domain to go to the z domain, we have to go through the a star of s. And we can arrive at the z transform by substituting z equal to e to power st. Okay? Okay. For that reason, we would like to review some of the rules when we apply the start Laplace formula. For example, let's assume I have a1 as a function of s times a2 as a function of s times a3 as a function of s. If I star all of them, this is not equal to a one star a two star a three star it's not equal be careful in reality because these are in the continuous time domain 
then the answer will be if we start all of them it will be a1 a2 a3 all of them star function x also it's worth noting if i have so this is like one case the second case if i have a function a in the s domain multiplied by a b star of s all of these are starred then the answer will be a star of s times b star of s all right please remember these rules this will be very handy later when we deal with the pulse transfer function for closed loop systems.